All right, so we are starting to get ready to travel to Tashkent, Uzbekistan. I've got about six days in Central Asia in the Central Asian steppe. I've got all my food prepared ahead of time. I've got my bags laid out over here. I've got all of my different gear, all my camera gear, all my workout gear, everything that I'm gonna have. I got my rice that I'm making right here that I'm gonna take with me on the plane. I got my plant protein that I'm gonna take with me on the plane as well. So we are starting to get really, really close. I'm gonna wake up early in the morning tomorrow. I already started my, my time shifting. I started to adapt to the time in Tashkent, Uzbekistan, so I have a little bit better traveling. You can get a ton of jet lag, so it's, it's gonna help me deal with that jet lag. Hopefully I don't have any jet lag based off of what I'm doing. We're about to head over to the other side of the world, but first we gotta get on the road, head to JFK, and then get on that direct flight to Tashkent, Uzbekistan. Gosh. You ready, Anna, to go to Uzbekistan? Yes. <laughs> You're worse than my mom. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. All right, Anna just got to the gym. We are loaded up. We're heading to JFK to get on that 12-hour flight straight into Tashkent. So let's start the big-time journey to Uzbekistan. All right, we just got to JFK. We are about to head in and go through security. Get ready for a 12 hour flight. All right, so we just got through security. Even though Anna slowed us up like 900 different times, now we're getting ready to board. We got about 15 minutes to board. 12 hours, hopefully I can get at least seven hours of work done. Hopefully Anna is sleeping halfway through so that she can start to adapt and we'll be in Tashkent this time tomorrow. to Tashkent, so now we're waiting to go outside. We caught our ride right here. She's taking us to the hotel. I think we have to get a COVID test when we get to the hotel, but 12 hours on the plane. All right, we're here training. Anna's last training session before she competes in two days. So third day here, second day, third day, third day, yeah. Third day here, she's gonna warm up, probably work up to 85 to 90. Clean and jerk, 100, 105. She should be ready to go. She still doesn't have any of her clothing. They lost her luggage. So we just finished up Anna's last session she's gonna do tomorrow. She's gonna do some mobility stuff. We're here at the venue. Let's see, bad lighting, but you can see the arena. So today is Wednesday. She competes, what, Friday at four o'clock. It looks pretty good today. She's a little, you know, a little stiff, but I think she's still adapting a little bit to the time zone. Just a hair, she got some decent sleep, and then uh, she should feel good by Friday, so hopefully she competes well. Now we're gonna head back to the hotel. I might go back to the sauna, have a good day, and eat a whole bunch of good food. Okay, so Anna competes today. I'm gonna be helping out Will easily as well, but Anna competes around 4.30. She still doesn't have her luggage. She doesn't have her contacts. She doesn't have any of her gear, so she's gonna be borrowing some of the other athletes' stuff. But she looks good. You know, she's, she hit 94 and 110 the other day, uh, two days out, so I think she's in pretty good shape. Adam just left it yesterday and she wants to max her power snatch now. My 
arm looks pretty good. I'm getting in that pre-comp workout session so I can just feel pretty good. And I'm gonna hit up the sauna. I'm gonna work some of my shoulders a little bit. They got a Smith machine back here that's old and wonky. I might play around with that, but now I'm gonna get that pump going before we head over to the weightlifting competition at Junior Worlds. Inside the venue, we are about to get rolling with Will Easley. So there's the stage. Decent, decent crowd will show up. Hopefully, Let's have some fun. That's the training hall, training area, warm-up areas over on that that side over there. So Anna went three for three. She got second overall in snatch. Then she blacked out, first clean. Hit her clean, second clean jerk, missed her third one to bring home second overall, but she still did really well, really well. The medals will be presented by Mustafa Nijat Ulu, General Director, Diagnosing Solutions. Mustafa Nijat Ulu. Diagnokim Solutions Bosch Director. Svetlana Ditova, International Weightlifting Federation Technical Official. Silver medalist, representing United States of America, Anna McElderry. Kumush medal sorundor akshlik sportje, Anna McElderry. Anna, how do you feel after your first International medal. Amazing. Tired. I went for a cheeseburger. Really? Why, why weren't you eating cheeseburgers before you competed? Because they're made out of horse here. 
That's why. I, I literally like ate all week. I was eating so much. Well then why were you two kilos under body weight? Because I was nervous. I was nervous so my heart was beating fast so I was sweating. What were you thinking when you attempted 99? I don't remember. <laughs> It kind of was a whole blur. How'd you feel when you were blacking out at 119? I don't remember that one either. <laughs> I was like, this guy is touching my belt. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, does it look like I'm having a seizure? <laughs> yes. Here in Tashkent, Uzbekistan, I've got my vegan plov, Uzbeki special. I'm gonna smash that. I gotta pack up all my bags, get everything ready to go. We got an early flight, six o'clock, 6.30 in the morning. One more sleep and then we're heading back to the States, getting back to PA, baby. So I'm pretty excited. Just been real fatigued the last two days, especially after Anna lifted. I was just, I didn't do anything when she was lifting other than have a panic attack, but I do get fatigued from that. So I'm excited to get moving and get back and see my family. I think that's the biggest thing. I, it just drains me being away from the kids and my wife. So I'm excited, gonna crush that plow, get a good night's sleep, hopefully, and then have that terrible 13 hour flight home. You ready, Anna? So ready. Sanchez is sore from his fat cleaning jerk. And that nice, can you snatch 40? Yeah. That was nice. All right, so I just got back. If you can see this. 20 hours and 46 minutes of total travel. 13 and a half hours in the plane. Just got back to GS. Olympian, two-time Olympian, Tim Nettas here. Just was talking to him about all the crazy results while I was gone, legend going off. Uh, it's awesome, because I was in Uzbekistan with Anna. Anna gets second in the world in the snatch, and at the same time, you know, legend Hayes, legend Boyce and Hayes goes in PRs, 63 meters. Ashlyn Giles break the Pennsylvania state record, win two state titles. We had two other guys win state titles in Pennsylvania. A crazy, crazy time. With Sam Black won the NCAA title in the decathlon. Peyton Montana and Maria Diaz made it to NCAAs. I feel like there's even more stuff that I'm missing. So just a great great weekend of of competition of gs athletes while i'm over there traveling and i think that that's a big takeaway for from you know coaching in general is like putting in all this time putting in all this effort and sort of running myself ragged a bit but also trying to push and help these these other athletes it ends up you know, it pays off. The athletes have these great experiences. They get to travel the world. They get to compete and, and see places they'd never see and uh, experience emotional uh, connections and emotional experiences that they would never have had otherwise. I think that's what, what makes it so cool about being in, in strength and, and conditioning. And I think the big takeaways from this trip to Uzbekistan is just one, planning your day out. Cause if I don't plan my day out, I don't do anything. Two, focus on that plan. And that's where I would say the big takeaway, dude, tomorrow, write down three things that you want to get done. Three things that you want to get done tomorrow and then do that the next day, then do that the next day. And when you can do that, that's when, when things really start to come together with your schedule and with your planning and with how, how you wanna achieve those big time goals. And that's what's really gonna get you to the top of where you wanna be as an individual. And even the athletes that are, that are watching, that's a, that's a huge big step. And enjoy the process. It's like, you know, oh, you get to go to Uzbekistan. It's not like fancy place that you're getting to go to, but it's, it's that experience, it's the cultural experience. It's trying to eat vegan uh, while traveling. It's, it's spending time with an athlete like Anna, who's who's a really really a world class athlete, and then at the same time seeing all the other athletes execute uh, at that top end level, qualify for the Olympic trials. I think that's a big lesson from this vlog. Just keep grinding. Set those three things up though that you want to do every single day. That's the take home. Do that tomorrow, and you can have a direct impact on your own performance for whatever that is. Until next time, guys. Peace.